straight from PEI. Uh, yeah. Who looks here? Who here from PEI? This is a photo of David Costello uh, traveling to Washington, D.C. Uh, last year. Uh, traveling is something that David enjoys doing with his family. His favorite place to travel is? Disney World. Disney World. Uh, this is, uh, David had the opportunity to do his first Ignite last year with us, and so he enjoyed it so much he thought he'd do it again. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to introduce David Costello. Okay, can you take that? Yes. <laughs> Sweet mother of pearl, that's a big picture. And I'm sorry, that was not flattering. I am gonna take a picture first because my mom thinks when I come here that nobody shows up. <laughs> so I'm taking the picture, that's my proof. Um, so, so I didn't bring anything today other than me, but I do have these things that I can give you. Okay. <laughs> Learning goal, think back to when we were given this sheet. When we do things in the classroom, what? are the messages students take from that. So for, for this sheet here that ju just moved on, <laughs> that was, was supposed to be practiced, but then growing up, my thing was time. You are good if you can finish them quickly. So then where this is coming from is my PhD research, and it's from classroom observation. So then looking here, what is the difference? Worksheet towards actually using concrete objects. Work sheet right or wrong the first time. Concrete, you can move them around, you can try things, and it, it becomes risk-free. So then think about these two questions for the next nine seconds. <laughs> what, what was the intended purpose of your last math session, and would students have taken away the same message? Okay, moving on. <laughs> message one, problems are to be started, worked on, and finished in one setting. When I go into math classrooms, that's what I tend to see, that we start, work on, finish, right then. So think of, um, about your math, math block. When do you give out, out the problems? Do you tend to give them out at, at the B? Um, a beginning of it within in five to ten minutes of it, or why not give them out with a few minutes left? I was in a grade six classroom this week, week, and I gave a problem five minutes before the bell, and the student said, "But we've got soccer." I'm like, "Oh no!" <laughs> But think, think now, when we read, the book, book doesn't have to be finished in the one sitting. And that sign, I made that sign back in 15 minutes. <laughs> we can, can, we can uh, try to come back. When we read, we have bookmarks. We can tab the page so then we can try it and then break, but then we know where to come back to. Do we do that in math? Oh, yes, we do. Keeping tracks, thinking tracks, why not write in the um, margins here? So that students are really writing down what their thinking is meaningfully as they work on the problem. So that when they come back to it, that they know where they left off. Um, so we want students to understand that not all problems can be solved in one setting. And then writing in the margins can frame support and consolidate student thinking. Message two that we sometimes give students, erase, erase your mistakes and try it again. So I, I hear teachers say misconceptions um, and they're really not misconceptions at all. That's what the students are really thinking at that time. So scrap paper. Scrap paper is fine if it's not thrown away because that's where the thinking is documented. Feel free to clap at that point or, or to really just really smile. I don't mind. Um, so the good copy, when we're in math class, we tend to see something like this, the good co copy. But where is the rough draft? Oh no. <laughs> E erasers remove student thinking. Have you tried using pens in the classroom? See when they change their mind, because that's what counts. 
That visual, made by me, took me 12 <laughs> minutes to actually get them lined up because <laughs> symmetry's nice. When we write right, we go through a process. Do we go through the process when we have math? Draft, revise, edit. So we want students to really do document what their thinking is for, for um, uh, them and for us too. And there is more to math than being at the right answer, and I'm not gonna talk about bulletin three and four because we're here. So food for thought. <laughs> what are we sending students? What are they get, getting something that we hope, or are they getting something different? And there's my contact information. <laughs> Did it.